Good morning, everyone. Got a pile of laundry to do. It's a rainy, dreary morning. I don't know if you can hear it over here. But I'm just feeling sad that we don't get to have a family brunch at all this weekend. Yesterday, Dan left immediately in the morning to go get a rental van and pick up that bike and then he just went out for the day to breweries and had dinner with his friends and stuff and then after dark they brought the bike here so now he's just leaving to go take the van back and get his car where it's parked and he was like well you can meet us somewhere for breakfast but my car's almost out of gas because of all the running around I had to do this week, like Friday alone, just going back and forth across town, picking up sick kids, going to the doctor, going to volunteering. It took 20 miles off the estimate of what I have left. My car gets horrible, gas mileage, I hate it. <laughs> and I can't fill it up because it has an issue where it's very, very difficult to fill it up. It keeps ticking off like the auto sensor saying it's full when you're just starting. So like you have to have like this special touch. I've had people, strangers, offer to come help me because I was trying to get gas and it wasn't working. And they assumed it was a me problem, which is so sweet. I'm like, sure, go ahead and try. And you couldn't do it. I was like, wow, you need to get that looked at. But it's like an, just an issue, a known issue. So Dan always does it. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck. He's like, I guess you're not going out then. And he left. So yeah. Already in my heels because my period gets started anytime. And crampy. And again the rain. Just being trapped in here yesterday all day. I was cleaning for his bike. It wasn't any thank yous, I know, but you'd probably be like, there's no need to thank you because it was your mess, your kid's mess. So that's just how I'm feeling. I mean, it, it doesn't mean I'm justified in feeling that way, but it's how I'm feeling. So I'm just gonna make it through the day. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna say a quick good night while I get Sebastian to bed. Well, before I get him to bed, while he's taking all his vitamins and stuff. But 
It's just a blah weekend, not good. Not bad, not good. Sad I didn't get to go out with my family. Didn't get the blanket finished for charity. I'm still working on the border because I didn't have enough purple to go all the way around in my quick big granny clusters. So I had to take it all out and go around in single crochet. So now I'm doing a single crochet border in every color and it's just a lot slower, but we're almost there. Got some chores done. Still feel really awful, but period hasn't come. I always feel the worst the week before it and the first day or two. So the sooner it comes, the better for me, especially because I have to volunteer Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for longer shifts. Tuesday is a shorter shift at the office, but oh yeah, I'm never gonna remember this, but I will eventually. Dad was having trouble opening his too. Did you like to help him? No, nope, he got it. I think she get changed too. Oh, show them Boston. Fun, JP. This guy, his name is Boston. He's very soft. That's very sweet of him. Lobster hugs. Okay. Lobster hugs. Anyway, yeah, it was just crochet, laundry, cooking dinner, more laundry. Did have a bath. Now it's just getting organized for the school week, making sure things are washed that need to be washed. Ice packs are in the freezer to get cold for lunches, that kind of thing. I did realize I didn't get any of the school newsletters and Dan did, which means my email is somehow still screwed up. I don't understand that because we've tested, we can send to each other, it works just fine. So I don't know why I'm not getting any school emails, which is really concerning because I email all the time. Dan just deletes things and I'm the one that like actually reads everything. So hopefully we can sort that out. But Dan's solution is to just barrel forward with going to a new service. I know what he does to pillows every night. They're always <laughs> like lumped over to my side. I have to sort my laundry. That's why the light is on I need to be able to see. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. But thank you for watching anyway. Sometimes it's nice to have a short one, right? My hair's a mess. Good night. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget, wash your hands.